Good morning, children. Let's continue the block, the race. What happened yesterday? What did we see? Tutu was having a plan to defeat Hira. So he made his brothers stand at different positions. Now open your content book, page number 67. Let's see today. Hira was breathless by the time he reached the mall. Because he was running fast, he was breathless. He had run so fast. But what was this? He could see a white hanky waving ahead of him. Hira panicked. He ran even faster and went past Jaggu. You are going to lose Tutu. He called out to Jaggu. Jaggu just smiled. And you see here, Hira was running fast. But he could see Jaggu standing there and waving the kerchief or the hanky. But he ran even faster and said that you are going to lose the race. Finally, Hira sighed with relief. Underline the word relief children. He was nearly there. He ran up to the school gates with his eyes closed. He was that tired. I am here, he said when he reached the gate. So, he was nearing the school and he ran more faster with his eyes closed. Welcome, said Tutu, softly waving his white hanky. What? howled Hira, opening his eyes. He couldn't believe it. Well fought, said Tutu. But I have won the race. Remember your promise. What happened? When Hira ran fast and came near the school gates, Tutu was already there and waving his hanky. Hira couldn't believe the Tutu has won the race. He was shocked that he couldn't speak because he couldn't believe that Tutu has won the race and he was in shock. Turn to the next page, children. Tutu just smiled. Why don't you come home and have some juice? You look tired, he said. Hira was ashamed of himself. He do been so mean to Tutu. But Tutu wasn't making fun of him for losing the race. Okay, he said, smiling back at the tortoise. And the two of them walked back to Tutu's house slowly. What did you understand here? You can make fun of your friends, but not to the extent where they get hurt. So, be kind to your friends. Do not call them with the names which they don't like. Okay, children. With this, we have done with the block, the race. And today, we are also going to discuss... Proper nouns and common nouns. Okay. Uh, we are going to learn about common and proper nouns. Before the vacation, I have already given you the definitions also, children. So, we will revise once again. What is the name of the two characters in the story? The race. Hare and the tortoise. Hira the hare 
and 2 to the tortoise. So, what is the name of the place where the race takes place? It is near the school or way to the school. What is the things that the tortoise brothers carry as their plan? A handkerchief or a white hanky. So, the answers indicates the names, place and the thing. These words are called nouns. So, we will see one example. Toto wins the race against Hira. What I wrote, is it correct? No. Because if it is a name, we are going to start with a capital letter. And starting letter capital and we end with a full stop. How can we correct it? The name should be written in capital letters because it is a proper noun. It names a specific person, place or thing. So, we will see the examples. Before that, we will see the definition of common noun and proper noun. A common name given to any person, place, thing or idea. It does not begin with a capital letter. Cat. So, it is common. Girl, hill, country, flag, cup. I am not specifying anything here. I am just saying cat. It could be any cat. Girl. It could be any girl in the class or whomever I am talking to. So, next one is proper noun. A special name of a particular or specific person, place or thing. All the proper nouns begin with capital letters. If I say, get me that book. Which book you are going to get it? Because you don't know what I am asking. If I specify, please get me the English content book. So, I am specifying the thing what you should get it for me. So, it starts with a capital letter. Anil. I am giving a name for the boy. Please call the boy whose name is Anil. Zoo. Zoo is a common. If I am saying national zoo, let's go to zoo, it's common. If I say where with zoo that we are going, we are going to national zoo. I am going to that place. I am not saying you a specific place where I am going. If I say I am going to Delhi, so I am specifying where I am going. So, we are going to see a few examples for common noun and proper noun. Proper noun, Mrs. Ratna. Teacher, MG Road. It is a street. If you, say, if you say street, it could be any street. But I am specifying here MG Road. I am saying teacher. But here I am specifying the name Mrs. Ratna. Mrs. Ratna is a teacher. Week. In week, I am specifying the day. Sunday, month. It is a common. But here I am specifying the month. June, river. Here it is any river. But here I am specifying it as Ganga. In the same way, a building and the language. These are the few examples for common and proper noun. And you are going to do the volume book related to this topic. So, you are going to write the keyword relief and the glossary for it and the own sentence. And you also do the volume book. Common and proper nouns related. And topic 6 from the content book. This is for today children. I will see you in the next class.